Welcome to our retirement, folks. No cleaned out. That's cleaned him all out. He's in there. I know what we got here. A little Ernie. Hi Ernie, how are you doing? He's quiet. Don't forget he's been up since 7 o'clock, has he? Yeah. Have you seen your veggies out, Ernie? Your mum's given you it this morning. Yep, it's all there. It's all there. He's even had his water cleaned and he's coming out. Oh. All right. Hello, sweetie pie. How are you feeling? Are you feeling awake? Are you awake, Ernie? Are you wanting to come out? Mm -hmm. If I back off, watch him come. Yeah. Come in, look. Yeah. He wants to come out, don't he? Mm -hmm. Shall I get him out for a bit? And then when he goes back in, he's got his food in there. Hey? We've got the wrong okay. end here. Oh, sorry. You can go that way around to see. There's a lovely, aren't you? There's a lovely chicken. He's a little chicken, Bob, aren't you? Hey, he's beautiful. He's a little beauty. And that's his broken shell there, look. That big piece there missing out. Yeah. And then it, the round ear he got nailed as well. I think it got rid of him. Uh, the, um, dog. <coughs> but when you consider that when when he came to live here, he was only about that big. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very tiny. Yeah, yeah. That any of you don't don't know, Ernie got mauled by some dogs when he was tiny. Hmm. <laughs> you did, didn't you? Not here. No, no, where he was before. And your little brother didn't make it, did he? Yeah, he had a brother and the brother died. Mm. There you go. There you go. Near him, hanging. <laughs> that says to me, before you turn that camera on, do you know what you're going to say? <laughs> As it happens, I do. Oh, it does. <laughs> wow, miracles. That surprised you, didn't it? <laughs> oh, it did surprise me. What have you got to say then? Um, because even I don't know what he's going to say, <laughs> so it's a surprise to me. As well. <laughs> it's true, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um. After, oh dear, oh, just a minute. Well, Trace. Oh, Trace is upstairs, she'll get that. <laughs> when, after my dad died in 1994, uh, my dad uh, said to, to me, before. before he died, well, definitely <laughs> not after. <laughs> you never know, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> to look after my van. Um, and so me and our kid, we, I don't know whether we did formally organise it, I think it just come about somehow, but we, we decided that we would go up one Saturday, um, and spend day with my mum and, um, our kid. Usually on a Sunday we asked Stanley, he took her over yeah. to his house. Yeah. And they had Sunday lunch yeah. together, didn't they? Yeah. Uh, he'd do it on a walk. Sunday and we did it 
on a Saturday. So every weekend, my me, mum me had one of us um, to break a week up. And that, that were in 1995 when we started doing that. Ooh, I think I'm oh, right. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy. Oh, look what's arrived. We can it's... do that next when you finish your story oh, oh, about right. your dad. Finish telling... she'll forget. I'll finish telling the story. Um, yeah, and we, we did that from... 19, uh, 1995 until 2013 when, yeah. my mom, when my mum died in 2013. Yeah. So my mum outlived my dad. What, what, 18 years or something? Yeah, she, she was nearly 92. One month she, yeah. when she died. Mm. Yeah. Um. yeah, yeah, my dad were only 72. When he died, and, and my mum was ninety, so going on ninety-one, yeah. Mm. Mm, so she did, but um, we used to we used to arrive at my mum's about ten-ish, just gone ten, and we'd have a cup of tea, and then we'd drive across to Weatherby. I used to stand on High Street um, <coughs> with a tract. For an hour mm. and then go to Jeff's. Pat used to go around um, Weatherby. Weatherby shopping with my mum, and then we'd meet up at one o'clock at Weatherby Whaler. Um, mm. Man, we didn't do that for the whole 18 years. No, because we used to go other places. Well, we my mum used to make a Sunday dinner. Uh, yeah. On a Saturday time. for us when we, we, <coughs> so we didn't used to go. To in to where I used to go on my own and come back, yeah, and have have lunch at my mum's, and then we'd go out from my mum's in yeah, the afternoon. afternoon but eventually, uh, my mum had arthritis in her wrist. She she was a really good walker. Uh, well into her eighties, she could walk miles, but her wrists, better than me. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. But her wrists. She got arthritis in her wrist and she found it hard. Lifting pans. Lifting pans up for cooking and stuff. So mm. that's when we decided we'd we'd do it and the, the way we finished up doing it, having mm. us lunch at Weatherby Whaler. Yeah. And then we used to go off from there somewhere. Yeah. In the afternoon. Go back to my man's Skip to for the... tea. Um <coughs> oh well, we went all over. Um and we used to have tea at my mum's and then watch telly and, until about nine o'clock. We used to leave my mum's about nine o'clock. But <laughs> my mum, she used to have a, a customer. I was telling Mary this. She Every Friday, my mum used to have a glass of whiskey and there was a photograph on the wall of my dad. And she used to hold a glass up to, to my dad's picture on the wall and say, Cheers, Lewis. <laughs> she did that every Friday night. Yeah. 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 Oh, she did. Yeah. We we never thought we thought it would be hard for your mum, didn't we? Without your dad. Your dad did. Your dad did. But yeah. she she rallied round. She was a tough little cookie woman. Yeah, mom. she was. She was. She was only small, but Yeah. Uh, yeah, she were she were all right, fiercely independent. Yeah. The the she lived in a, a bungalow, uh, which was it was a council bungalow that she had, um, but there were a, a what a community centre. Community centre. Center. And they were all us. They were all us trying to get her involved in old people's activities and stuff. And my mum said. She used to say, I'm not ready for that. <laughs> she used woman. to go over there for her hair doing, didn't yeah, she? she? Yeah, she yeah, did. Yeah, hairdresser that can. Certain things she'd do. Um, she, she went and had coffee over there, didn't she? Some, on a, yeah. Um, as, she got, as she did get well into her 80s, she did get more and more involved. <clears throat> yeah. Um... 
Oh, Christmas, Christmas dough as well. Pretty good over there, wasn't there? We went to Christmas dough. Yeah, she used to have. They used to have little parties and things. Did we go? We went to a couple of them, I think. Oh. It's a <laughs> phone holder for Pat's phone. Because that's the one I've got at the moment, which belongs to Trevor. It? It's an old phone of mine. It's a Samsung J4 Plus. I thought... I've been waiting ages for this. I was going to get one like my old phone. Uh, and I was, or we didn't. I was going to use the one that Kim sent me. Um, I thought... Oh, Pat, get on with it. Try and use a bit better phone than, oh, than um, you've same, got at the it? moment. Oh, it, it's not the same, is it? Is it not? Well, we'll that, just be that, careful without stuff. That's not the same. Oh, well, I think. So, that, oh, it's not... That's, big enough. That, that's not a J4 Plus. After all this time we've been waiting, we're waiting for, for this blooming phone case to arrive. It's, it's too small. Oh. I'm going to have to check up on that. Yeah. I, it, it said it were a J4 Plus. I've been waiting ages for it. Yeah. Oh no. I wonder if you can send it back. It must come in that because it's got mm, a little yeah. bandage. Mm. I mean, we might as well have gone to a shop and. No, they won't, you won't out. get one from a shop, darling. Don't you think? No. They don't have Will they be all this size? No, it, it, it isn't a question of the size part. Oh. It's where all ports are and everything right. on them. Um, oh. They've got to be made for that particular form. Mm. Um, look, it says J310. That's not J4, J4. Plus that I ordered. Can I do that? What's it say on box for? Or packet? I don't know. I mean, we're only a fiver. Mm. We're only five pounds. But um, I don't know where it's come from because I tracked it. Oh, that. Oh, where was that? Must have been somewhere in that that bag. <sighs> oh, how disappointing, people. Things as soon as I saw the thing at the back. Right, I knew you it. Thought... I thought that's not the same. Hmm. Oh. oh well, get in. I'll check the order. Right. Um. What is he doing? Oh, mm, she's messing with this ball. I don't want to lose it. <coughs> right. Oh well. So there's there's actually a photograph of um. Trevor and I sat on the settee um, in our front room when we lived in Waddingham in the little in the stone cottage where we built our workshop and Trevor's hairs drip white and it just went like that didn't it when your dad died oh yeah it did and yeah and he got, he got what, 
Well, it's pretty Alopecia. white now. Yeah, it's what, no, it's grey, it's grey. It may look white on there, but it's grey. Um, but it will drip white. Yeah, it did, yeah, yeah. We'll have a look and see if we can find that. And it fell it's out in lumps, all look like a... a... And you, I mean, you won't believe it's me sat side of it. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah I, in fact, I went to tune a piano at the <clears> customer's <throat> house after it happened. Because I didn't used to go... Some some people I went to every six months and some people I went to once a year. year. Just depended on the piano. Some pianos held the tune longer. Hold the tune longer than others. Mm -hmm. And I used to more or less know how long they'd last. Um and I had a customer, uh, I think I only went once a year. And when I went to his house and I knocked on the aunt door. And he, he looked at me, yeah, he <laughs> didn't recognise me. <laughs> it's me! <laughs> he, he, he said, what happened? He said, what happened? I said, oh, says, my, my dad died and I, this just happened. Um, mm. My dad died in November 94. It didn't happen. And, it, it started, it started in round about early, early 95 mm. and I, I'd noticed my hair were going white here and I got out of it and it come out <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I was in my mum's bathroom <laughs> and I was just pulling it out and I said, look at me hair and I was oh, saying to him and it would just you could literally just pull it out, mm -hmm. um, and it, that's how it went. I had these, the, it would drip white with these massive ball patches <laughs> where it had fallen out. I looked the right state, <laughs> and it took about 18 months gradually to come back. The colour started coming back, and it started growing back. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> It just shows you, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, really. Because <laughs> you, you really wouldn't have thought you'd have had a reaction like that to your dad. You thought it, you would have thought it had been done that when your mum died. Yeah. Because you were closer to your mum, really, weren't you, than mm. your dad? Mm. Not, not that there were any... No, no, no. No, no. It, it just... You know, you just are right you're closer to your mum than your dad, sometimes. Well, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't right, think I was, I was that close to it, either of them, that, in that mm. respect. I've never been mm. um, bit, a bit of a swinging brick for the heart I have. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it, it's, it's, it is amazing, yeah. really, how it... How it affected me. I didn't. I didn't think I. I won't sort of torn apart by the death of my dad. No. I mean, I was sad, but not only that, just normal. Just mm. how you would be normally. Yeah. Um. So why why it affected me so much? I know. I don't know. And and they were more like my mum and dad, because my mum died when I was seventeen. So I'd always looked upon your mum mm. and dad as mm. Substitute. mine. Substitute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Not only yours. My mum sort of became a mother to you, yeah, yeah. didn't she? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so. yeah you and my mum got on great. Oh, we did, yeah, we did get on well. Oh, I got on well with your dad. Well, you did, yeah, you did, yeah. 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 When I were out in Germany, when we were caught, and you used to go, and I think you went and stayed a couple of times, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I think I did. Mm, they used to take you out. Yeah. Yeah. And I used to go to a club with them. West Leeds. Mm. West Leeds Working Men's Club. <laughs> Blimey. When you think of the days, those days, 
um, what we're talking about, you know, 67. Yeah. Um, and when we come out of the army, we used to go down there oh, yeah. a bit, didn't we, in 1970. Yeah. When you, when you think of the days of the working men's club, the A Day, yeah, and that club, it used to have a concert room upstairs. That I don't think they opened it during the week. I think they just opened it on a weekend. It had a bar and a lounge and a snooker room downstairs. But up this this concert room upstairs, it had a, a long bar, mm. and it had a door. You went in at this end and come out at other end. And on a weekend, they had loads of staff behind that bar. Yeah. And there were people queuing, going in and going in one end and out the other all the time. Yeah. I mean, I can remember at that club when they had waiter service. Oh, can you? Yeah. Right. Yeah, when you, you actually had waiters that waited on the tables. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Um. That's and what then, my dad used to do on, on yeah, the night. Yeah, did. He did. He used to wait on, did your dad? Yeah, but not there, it was. Oh, yeah, not he there. He worked at Murray Monk. Mm. Well, he worked at lots of other places besides that, but they've all been pulled down. Murray <laughs> Monk was near where Pat lived when I was right into her. Mm. But it, it's not there anymore. No. The pub, they pulled it down. Yeah. And building some houses, well, apartments there. Well, looks like cold, it's... I <laughs> do. <laughs> <laughs> well, who comes up with these designs? Designs, honest? yeah. Yeah, I mean, the, there's there's a lot of glass in them, but they still, still remind you of quarry hill flats, <laughs> Just which big, were famous in Leeds. Big eye like. walls. Ah, oh, yeah, quarry hill mm. flats. You're all right, You're darling. You're all right, darling. We're just about finished now, anyway. Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow, folks. Yeah. Oh, oh, before oh, we go. Oh. We've got an Ernie brush. What we've got for Ernie? Well, what it's we've just, got, Tracy's got it's it. It's to stick on his... Stick on glass so he can rub his scent um, underneath the brush. Great, eh? Brilliant. Oh. Okay, folks. See you tomorrow. <laughs> All Bye. being well. Bye. See that big pan?